As an angler in New England, there's a couple things we can count on. The weather will eventually warm up, the migratory fish will return, and one lure will outfish just about anything else in the spring. I'm Eric from the Saltwater Edge, and today we're talking about the Rebel Jumpin' Minnow. The Rebel Jumpin' Minnow was introduced in the 1975-76 Rebel catalog. This bait found a home in the family of Rebel Minnows, a popular freshwater lure at the time, and continued its popularity for many years in the freshwater circuit. This lure then found a home in the Gulf Coast before making its way up north to New England. Before we take a look at how this lure swims, we need to address one thing. The four and a half inch Rebel Jumpin' Minnow comes with some weak hooks. These hooks are more designed for freshwater use, and so they're gonna bend out pretty easily when you put them up against a decent sized striped bass, uh, which you will be catching with this lure. We like to replace them with a VMC 9626 uh, in a 1 size or a VMC inline single in a 1 size. And if you find yourself catching some really large bass, you may want to replace the split rings as well uh, of one of a similar size but greater strength. Um, these hooks are fine for freshwater use and that's what Rebel designed this lure for. But when we start taking it into salt water, you're going to notice even a small schooly bass is going to bend these hooks out and potentially tear that split ring out. Uh, it's a very quick replacement. We actually sell a kit on our website uh, that includes everything you need to make that happen. Now let's take a look at how it swims. You can see right from the get-go that this lure swims erratically, and that's kind of the whole point behind it. It darts side to side, has a nice rattle, it floats when you pause it. All in all, it does all the things you'd expect out of a small topwater spook style lure. For some reason though, this lure just is more effective than many other spook style lures on the market. Even more so when it comes to striped bass here in New England. It's almost like these bass have spent their entire winter and migratory period saving up their energy waiting to see their next jump in minnow. In this clip you can see what it looks like when the lure is given just a straight fast retrieve. Some bass love it this way, especially when they're fired up around bait. By far the most common retrieve style for this lure is walking the dog. A twitch of the rod tip, a crank of the handle, and you've got motion that's going to attract any bass in your area. Captain Craig Cantelmo once told me that this lure is so effective that it should come with a warning. It can actually impact the striped bass population of an area. But what about this lure makes it so effective? I asked a lot of people I know who fish this lure regularly and everyone had a slightly different answer. Is it the telltale rattle on the inside? Is it the erratic pattern it makes through the water? Is it the wake it leaves behind it? Or is it the fact that it's the first meal a hungry migratory striped bass sees after arriving here in our waters? Everyone has a slightly different theory, but one thing everyone agrees on is that this lure just catches fish. Year after year, time after time, once you swap these hooks out, this lure is gonna catch you a ton of striped bass this spring. If you haven't given it a try, check out our website, saltwateredge.com. We sell a kit that has everything you need to get this salt water ready. It includes a couple jumping minnows, some hooks, some split rings, and everything else you need to get out on the water. Thanks for watching. If you guys enjoy this video and this type of video, leave a comment below, like and subscribe. It helps us know what to keep making and that you're watching and enjoying what we are making. Uh, for everything you need for saltwater fishing here in New England, you can find it at the Saltwater Edge, and we'll see you in the next video.